Hey everyone, okay, so before I jump into this video, I just want to take a quick moment to wish all of the fathers watching a very happy Father's Day. You do one of the most important jobs on this earth and you deserve to be appreciated for it. Unfortunately though, not everyone feels the same way. Not everyone gives fathers the respect they deserve. If you think of the father figure today, it's not likely you're gonna get a picture of the dad from Leave It to Beaver. Today, the fathers we know are the Homer Simpsons of the world, the Jerry's from Rick and Morty, the bumbling dad trope. Our very respect for fatherhood is being undermined at every turn since we took a more progressive outlook on the world. While single motherhood is praised, even subsidized by the state, the feminist movement pushes a view of men as patriarchal abusers of women and even portray them as a domestic threat to their own families. If you read articles from Everyday Feminist or Jezebel today, they condemn the very idea of Father's Day. It's insane. And yet many people today are okay with this attitude because, well, the future is female or it's our turn to oppress or some nonsense like that. But what is the truth? Is the future female? Do we really not need fathers? Well, I think we need to look at some facts. Anybody raised in an intact household knows on an intuitive level that neither mothers nor fathers alone are the better parent, but that mothers and fathers bring complementary value systems and parenting styles to a child's upbringing that together mold them into well-rounded young adults. And that's not just me making stuff up. Extensive research on the one in four children raised without a father in the US really does speak for itself. Psychologist Jean Piaget, as well as the more recent Dr. Jordan Peterson, note that childhood play is integral to proper social development. And on average, fathers are much more likely to play games with their children than mothers are. Games that teach their children boundaries, social rules, competition, and negotiation. The stats on this are pretty undeniable. The importance of fatherhood in social development is even echoed by the Center for Disease Control, who found that 85% of all children who show behavior disorders come from fatherless homes. That is 20 times the average. Fathers are also much more likely to push their kids out of their comfort zone and encourage them to take risks. For example, let's say a child gets into a fight on the playground. Instead of protecting his child from the incident and pulling his child away like a mother would, the father is more likely to let the child deal with the conflict themselves and learn from it. This parenting attitude ensures a competent child that is able to confront difficult situations and act effectively and with confidence in such circumstances. And contrary to popular belief, fathers also play a large role in the development of empathy in children. Mothers may be more empathetic towards their children, but empathy does not breed more empathy. And when mothers, although with good intentions, overly empathize with their children without a less empathetic father around to even it out, she teaches her children only to think about themselves and their own interests. She makes them self-centered, narcissistic, and unempathetic. And you know, I can't help but think as I go through the character of the fatherless child that I'm describing every crazy entitled college progressive ever. Socially maladapted, non-competitive, incompetent, self-centered, and narcissistic. It's a very unfortunate mix, but it really does come as no surprise. And what's worse is that these deeply damaging effects of fatherlessness don't end with just creating annoying social justice warriors. 63% of youth suicides are from fatherless homes. That is five times the average. 90% of all homeless and runaway children are from fatherless homes. That is 32 times the average. And 71% of all high school dropouts come from fatherless homes, nine times the average. Compared to living with both parents, living in a single parent home doubles the risk that a child will suffer physical, emotional, or educational neglect. And unfortunately, fatherlessness is a self-perpetuating sociological cycle. Boys who grew up without a father figure are more likely to emulate peers as their male figure, which leads to low academic achievement, substance abuse, promiscuity, and eventually an out of wedlock child, which usually ends up being a child raised in a single mother household. And the cycle continues. And I'm sure there are some feminists out there still shrugging and saying, this is a great thing. It's women's turn to eternally step on men's balls and run society. 
And fine, have your weird revenge fantasies towards plenty of completely innocent men. But to what expense? If our liberated anti-patriarchal society means destroying the father figure, is it worth it? Is it worth five times the suicide rate? Is it worth 32 times the runaway rate? Is it worth nine times the average dropout rate? Is it worth the loss of that loving and caring guide in one's life? Is it worth destroying a decent shot at life for millions of young children? The postmodernists trying to deconstruct the family and destroy the father need to ask themselves this. Is their petty little pursuit of a utopian world really worth the heartbreak and damage it is causing in the real world? Anyways, I know that's kind of a dark note to end the video on, but these facts are things that we need to acknowledge and we need to talk about so that we can start to regain that respect and appreciation of fathers and hopefully improve the lives of millions and millions of children that need their fathers in their life. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please share this video and happy Father's Day.